All right, we're loading in, just about in. And yeah, here we are, of course. Wait, so where am I right now? Oh yeah, I'm inside my normal base. 36 hours of upkeep just might be raided or not. Okay, I know. I don't think that I am, actually. Okay. What I do know is that, uh... Okay, so what's his name's base over there? That's, uh, Lillian's base. That was our solo neighbor that we allied up with just randomly on the spot a couple days ago. But then we joined this big team <laughs> that lives underneath us. I didn't even think that these guys that I joined lived down there, man. Because after they raided me the first time and then they came back the next day and we fought them and shit on them, I was really thinking, like, yeah, they don't live down there. I don't think that, that, that like that's where they're coming from. But, yeah, they all live down there. And from how they described it, they're just a bunch of solo players that live in the same compound that play with each other. So they're all solo, they said. Well, I mean, you can't be solo, but, like, not be solo but yeah but yeah we're back on here let's go another day on a server where our area is a ghost town i'm so excited oh shit oh shit wait did this guy come here with a minicopter i don't know we're gonna have to go there though i'm gonna get inside my vault man let's go and i guess that i'm gonna have chat on right now too i suppose i'm just gonna say good day gentlemen Damn, man, these guys are just on when I get on. They're on when I get off, man. These guys are going hard in the morning. Said my guy, good day to you, sir. What you up to? Oh, wait, no, I only have 10 scrap. Oh, shit, yeah, no, we can't go. We can't go. Wait, did I not get, like, any scrap from the raids that I did yesterday, though? Like, what the fuck? Unless I stored it, like, out here. I mean, there's no scrap there. Okay, there's scrap right there. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I'm just gonna bring this super beat-up, uh, HM. Yeah, I guess let's go. Let me just double check just super quick. To oh, dude, he even killed the dock bot and everything. Oh, shit. Okay. So is he playing? Oh, yeah, nah, he is up here at the top. I think that it's only one guy, but I might be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. And now I need attachments for my gun, though. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Just give me like that right there. Um, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. And for anyone still possibly wondering, even though it's completely like not even a surprise, I'm still sick. But again, I feel like I'm just getting better little by little each day. I can't wait to be fucking playing every day, waking up, not feeling like shit. It's gonna be nice, because that's been the story of my life the past, like, two weeks now, I want to say. It's been a while, man. I'm, I don't know, I'm shocked that I'm not getting better sooner, but whatever. Yeah, here we are. Let's go. We should be able to make it there. I, I'm guessing that there's probably still, like, I don't know, seven minutes left on the creep. So, yeah, we'll see where this goes. I've been playing Minecraft for a few hours a day, and man, dude, I don't know. I'm loving the area that I found on there. It took me a while to find it, but... I'm building a beautiful thing on there. I just think to myself, like, huh, how fast should I try and get to the nether? How fast should I try and, like, beat the game and kill the end dragon, right? Because when I think about it, the fun could last so much longer if you just don't do that shit too soon. So I'm not, like, trying to speedrun Minecraft, man. I like, to, I like to play it slow. I like to build something that I can get lost in and make it feel real. And, yeah, it, that's kind of how I roll on there. <coughs> Oh shit, man. Here we are. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, let's go. Last time that I saw this dude, he was playing at, like, at the top, so... I feel like the bottom should be clear for us. I think that he has a minicopter parked up there somewhere. And if I kill him for a minicopter, I mean, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'll try making a garage for it, but, you know, last time that I tried to do that, there was just a viewer outside that constantly DB'd me as I was trying to get wood for it. And then he proceeded to crash the minicopter, which I was cool with. I don't really give that many fucks about a minicopter. I'm already paranoid enough using them whenever I have them. I'm just gonna go for dock right now. Fuck it. Okay, well, dock bot's alive. I swear that I saw that dock bot dead when I looked on cams, but I guess not. Okay, well, you know what, dude? Fuck it. I'll just drop your ass. Ah, oh, no, he's just gonna fucking run away and leave. Welcome to Oil Rig, guys. He doesn't even have the crate, by the way. He doesn't even have the crate. He's just leaving. Unless it's a duo and they're just baiting me, but I don't think that's the case. But yeah, he's fucking out of here. He's going far that way. Well, yeah, okay, that's that. <laughs> God, man, I don't know why everyone just has to run. And not that everyone does, it's me exaggerating, but a, a good amount of people do. And it does get old, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dude, there's even 13... You can't stay here for fucking 20 seconds? Solid crate, too. Cool, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, pretty simple. 
I'm just gonna get into my wetsuit and shit and get the fuck out of here, go back to my boat. Alright. I think that as soon as I get to the fishing village and park my boat, I'm gonna ask the boys in the chat to see if I can, uh, maybe, like, share, like, their boat base with them and shit. I don't know, that would be kind of cool, because I want my own freaking boat base. I'd make my own if I could, but I don't know how that would really work, even if I get on, like, some of their TCs and shit. I'm gonna have to bring it up to them, though, and see what they say. I mean, I don't know if they trust me enough to be in the compound and shit with them, because they're gonna have to give me, like, guest codes or something. Okay, we back, we back. So, all right, yeah, we're gonna see what they said. I said I'm not able to make a boat base with how far out your compound is. Is there any way... I can work around that, like share a boat base or something. We'll see what they say about that. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with that, I'm going to have to have access to their compound. That's for sure. Teammates, I don't live there. Okay, yeah, so he's it's pretty much... The guys that I'm teamed with right now, they don't live right here underneath me. They, they're cool with these guys, but they live on, like, the other side of them. I mean, Dylan, shit, like, since you're cool with them now, you can start working on your base right now. You can start doing that shit, dude. <coughs> Fuck, man, dude, this cough sometimes. It just comes out of nowhere, man. Dude, we are stacked on high qual, man. We got 403. Nice. Wait, and then I see Lillian say yep down there after I said shit. All right, life has sucked without a boat base. Yep, Lillian knows the struggle. And it's like, we could build one far out in the water, but, like, how the fuck do you even do that? Like, that just sounds difficult. Yeah, let's go ahead and start expanding now. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly how this base is going to be because this vertical honeycomb is not meant to be here with this design. I mean, I guess that what this spot right here could be is just like... Oh, man, I don't know about it being loot, though, man. I don't feel like it should be loot. I mean, I guess that it can. I'm just... Fuck, man. How do I really want to do this? I'm gonna make all this shit on the outside stone right now, for sure. And then I wanna make, like, all the floors above sheet. I don't know what Lillian's doing, but he's outside and he's just, like, jumping around and shit. Yeah, I got a, um, oil refinery if you wanted to make a small little oil refinery base. Okay, I'm DM that on you right now. Okay, cool. I'll make it your super suit, okay? Yep. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we have the oil refinery that we were talking about yesterday with about me and him sharing. And I think that I might make, a, like, a double plot one just so we can fit a second one in there if we ever want. Yeah, honestly, I'm just going to go and just make that right now, I think. This guy is going to look at our freaking, uh, at our oil refinery base and be like, wow, this guy's a real adult. He knows what he's doing. See, now, if you guys are in my position, I don't know if that would happen. I don't know if he would declare you as a real adult. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something for our second floor up here, though, for sure. I can upgrade that, I can upgrade that. Okay, so, pretty much, we need to build this shit, like, in between our bases. That needs to be the plan. Since he provided the oil refinery, which is the most difficult thing to, to provide, that gives him more wiggle room in us doing this. So, I'm not gonna build it right up here on, like, this cliff in between our bases. I'm gonna build it down here, somewhat near his shit, I'm thinking. Eh, yeah, honestly, like, right down here, it should be fine. It should be good. This, this. Just like that right there, right, guys? Thankfully, my area is a ghost town. It's just nothing but allies around me at this point. I mean, not like there was much of anything before. They might be like, well, why did you ally with them if there's no action in your area? Well, they're going to raid me. So if I don't correspond, then, you know, I'm just going to get raided again. So it's kind of a weird situation. That's why yesterday's video was called, uh... Like, I'm, like, I became friends with my enemies, but it's bittersweet. It's like, okay. I, like, I don't know if I'm happy about this or not. Alright, well, boom, there we go. We've got an oil refinery base now, my friends. Let's go! Totally forgot. I, need, I still need to make, like, a window here. Because we're actually going to have this this TC sealed up. We're going to. We're going to. We are going to. Dude, how do I see, like, the rest of the group members? Like, I can't even see what's his name, man. The question is, with this double armored door, where do I place this down at? I guess right here on this, actually. Eh, nah. Nah. We can't. If I place that down, then I can't jump up here. And, yeah, not worth it. So... 
I'm thinking that with like this top loot room, I could do this here. Which honestly, I'll probably just want to sheet those up. But uh, I could have it to where <laughs> there's like a low wall here and here. Um, not right here, but here and here, and then I can just like loot the shit that's like right there. Like I can put down like horizontal barrels, just like two of them, kind of like two large boxes, and then I can just loot them from right here. And then if they destroy them from here with like a tool, they're not gonna be able to loot it because the stash is gonna fall. So I think this might be a solid play. I, I guess. And then we're also going to have another loot room that's, like, over here, though. Uh, as always. And, yeah, then that'll be that. I mean, I, guess, I don't know. I guess this right here might be the plan. This could be the new way to rock the base. I mean, this doesn't sound too bad, Dylan. But you are, I don't know. Without this vertical honeycomb here, I, I can always make, like, a nice bedroom back here with a locker and shit. And there's not going to be any of that with this base. going to go ahead and put down that there. This here. All right, upgrade, 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 cool. Double armored door, going down up top. Screw it, who cares? Okay, yeah, there we go. So now I have uh, this bit of a loot room here, which again, it's like, like there's not even like a proper door for this shit, man. Which like, I don't know. All this right here is going to be upgraded to sheet, so we don't need to worry about, like, people picking into this or anything. I don't know. Maybe this is a very bad decision, but I'm just trying out something new with the base. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'm going to start looking around for a base that I can raid, maybe. Yeah, so the base that I raided yesterday, I flame raided that, uh, that base right there. Looks like it's been decaying a good bit. And then I raided another base right next to it. And, and the way that I described it is that, like... The dude in the flame raid was, like, this one weirdo, and then the dude in the other base next to him was, like, that weirdo's brother. It's, like, slightly more intelligent, but not by too far, and literally both the bags were both in Arabic, so I'm very certain that they were, uh, friends at least. Wait, what? No. He continued. Because when you think about it, I had a ladder placed down here, which I picked up that ladder uh, as I was raiding this base, but that window, the window bars were not there. <laughs> oh my god, wait, say what? Is he still playing on here? I don't know, maybe. Then we have this guy's base down here, we're gonna come over here and check this out. I'm literally able to just eco raid in from the top, I figured that out yesterday. Um, yeah. This guy hasn't really done anything with his base now. Oh yeah, dude, like, the tier 2 inside of this room is picked up and everything. Got this, like, shop base right here. Okay, okay. Is this right here a wood door? Gotta be, gotta be. Right, that's a wood door. All right, I could read into that. There's a double door frame though, so I don't know if it would be a double sheet or a double wood. Actually, no. There is a base that I want to raid, and now that we're actually cool with the people in the group down there, it's like right near their base, and it's a one by two, right? It's a one by two with a triangle on it, and there's electric furnaces going in it, and it's like full sheet. And I think that if I just go through. Like, two sheet doors and maybe a garage door, then we'll be all the way in. Dude, I might need to ask these guys what their FPS is at their base, because this area, I'm at 34 FPS right now. I mean, dude, look at these guys. Look at him up there. He's just sitting in his fucking tanning chair, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So up here is the base that I was talking about. So, yeah, like, they even, they even spray painted the base to, uh, green on the cargo crate skin. But, yeah, as I was over here, I heard electric furnaces going in here. Let's all listen, okay? Yep, I hear him. I hear him in there. Or maybe it's just one for, uh, electric furnace. I don't know. There's a bear rug. There's a fucking normal rug. There's a solar panel. And again, electric furnaces are going in there. We should fucking raid this thing. This does not seem like a bad idea. I think that I'm going to just have to raid that. I think that I'm going to come over here with a stack of expo ammo right now and just go through the doors. I'm going to raid a small base near y'all here soon. So don't be alarmed. Shit, man, I wish that I had a mixing table. I don't think that I do. I thought that I got one at one point, but I think that was before I got raided one of the two different times. Man, you guys have been coming at me with the hip-hop questions. Uh, 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 hey, Dylan, about the hip-hop uh, hip stuff you talked about, have you heard of J.I.D.? Of course, of course I've heard of fucking Jid. Are you kidding me? Of course I have. Yeah, man, shout out to J.I.D. He, uh, I, I, I want to say that aside from Cole, man, he's probably, yeah, he's definitely the best in Dreamville, for sure. And I'm really familiar with the Dreamville roster. You have Ari Lennox, you have Boss, you have Loot, you have uh, Earth Gang. Like, like I'm pretty tapped into this shit, man. I'm pretty tapped into hip-hop. and Well, at least, like, that side of hip-hop. Like, the lyrical side of hip-hop, I guess you could say. 
Yeah, how many expo? How, how much expo can I make? 60, okay, 81. So I can make 64, and that's gonna be a stack. I'm trying to think what I should go over there and actually spray this shit with. I guess just like a fresh HM. Fuck it, we have a couple of them. Let's just use them. Oh shit, dude, Talisha's inside of his car. Well, look at that. Yeah, he just got back with a big-ass mining run, let me tell you what. But yeah, so pretty much we can kind of see, like, where these guys live over here, and then the other base is, like, far over there, kind of. You can see it behind the walls with, like, the searchlights and shit. They're cool with them, but all the guys that are in my group right now live, like, right over here. You guys actually want to know something, something that I haven't seen much of this wipe? Paddles. I have not seen many paddles. But to be fair, my area is a ghost town, so it's not like I'm... Well, I mean, like, I've raided bases, though, and I'm not seeing paddles. Like, both the raids that I did yesterday, not one single paddle. I think the world might be starting to change, guys. The movement is, uh... It's coming in. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? Dude, I'm seeing Ricky just dead right here. That's really fucking weird, man. So, so I'm raiding this base over here, and I don't even have a flashlight on my gun, because I'm a silly-ass goose, but... There's this base right here next to it with a dead guy named Ricky right on it. Yeah, man, we'll see where it goes i guess uh, ricky don't don't tickle me okay we're already starting this off very very weird ladies and gentlemen i do apologize yeah i can't fucking see this guy i can't fucking see this guy okay who the hell are you shamika Dude, I don't have a fucking flashlight, and it might stab my ass in the back, guys, okay? I'm just saying. Oh, there's the paddle. Alright, well, I jinxed it. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk away now. Yeah, so I, I have a very good feeling about this base, may I just mention. Okay. Uh, start making up that GP right there. I wonder if we're even gonna have the sulfur cooked up to be able to make everything that we need. We might not be able to. I know that we have the sulfur for it, but cooked up, that I'm not sure of. Dude, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of confused on what's going on with like this whole Diddy situation with like his house getting raided by uh, Homeland Security. I wonder how that whole thing is going to be playing out. Oh, and you have enough backpacks to... Oh, wait, I see Talisha dead at the bottom left. What the hell happened? Okay, but yeah, now I'm going to climb up here. I'm going to die to a DB guy camping on my roof. I'm dead, okay? And now, we shall go and flame raid a base real quick, all right? Yeah, hopefully someone shows up to oil pretty quickly. I really want to go there. It's... I mean, we went there last time. Got some shit from the lots crate, but the dude has to... He has to fucking leave on his mini and just flee away, like, of course. It was right after he heard my HMLMG shoot, too. So I think that if, like... If he heard a SAR or a Tommy, he would have stayed, I think. But... The HMLMG scared him away. Yeah, let's see what all we got inside of here. By the way, guys, since I have chat on, there's going to be, like, random, like, server messages that pop up that I'm probably going to need to be hiding throughout the video. So if you see any, like, weird zoom-ins and shit randomly, just ignore it. Aw, oh, shit, it is a sheet door, which I don't really think that I give a shit about going through, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna be going through. I mean, there is a rug. Shows that he's looted up some shit, but it's also the same door that's over here, which is really fucking weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna mess with any of that. Who the hell is this? What's your name, sir? Suzanne. Listen, okay, Suzanne? You, have, you had a stone pickaxe. I kind of want to know where you live, I'm not gonna lie. I want a radio. Then you got this base right here with a ladder on it. Small base. But he got his hands on a ladder. And it's actually a wood door. Okay, interesting. There's actually a ladder on the back of his base too. And a weird twig foundation. Double door frame on the inside. There's actually not a door in the next door frame either. Okay, is this thing already raided or what's going on? Am I going to drop down and die to a shoddy trap as well? Yep, I just now died. Yep, I just died. Okay, so, um, this thing already got raided from the looks of things, Kareem. Rest in peace to you. I wish that I could have got your loot, but sadly, that's not what happened. Suzanne, though, so there was that guy over there. He was kind of coming from the direction of the two bases that I raided yesterday that were both made by silly little gooses. 
Actually, yeah, no, here, one second. I need to see if they added a code lock onto this base. Because before, oh, yeah, dude, there is a fucking code lock. It was just a key lock before. Dude, I feel like that Suzanne guy could live here. Just given, like, how much of a silly, silly ass goose he is here. Actually, I'm going to pick up, uh, I'm going to make a hammer, then go pick up these ladders, then climb up to the top. Because yesterday, a lot of the inside was just hollow. So like that there, then this here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, come on, man. This shit's got to be possible. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's like when it comes... Oh, yeah, dude, they ended up building in here a little bit. A little bit of upkeep. One hour of upkeep. Okay, man. There better not be anything inside these boxes, dude. Okay, I'm seeing paddles now. What is this? I mean, I mean, like, a lot of this stuff was here from yesterday, I think. And then I ended up picking up the ladder on the side of the base so no one else climbed into here. Yeah, that's that. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, bail on out of here after I chuck these fucking paddles away. Boop! Look at that throw right there, though. Just look at that throw. Look at that form right there. Let's get back home. Let's make the rest of the boom for that other base now. And check on small oil rig, most importantly. I wonder, like, realistically, I wonder how hard it is to hold up an entire base like this as a solo player. Like, you would have to be, like, a full-time job, pretty much, right? You better be going hard eight hours a day to keep this thing up. And you better hope that you're not dying on those, uh, throughout those eight hours. Otherwise, things are going to get really ugly for your compound. That guy's still just chilling up there on the chair. Okay, well, I can't get another door down over there, I guess. I guess that I'm, like, building blocked. Okay, dude, the paddles. I literally mentioned I'm not getting paddles at all, and then now I'm getting paddles every fucking raid. All right, so we have the bullshit box. This box makes us all feel very uncomfortable, as if this raid is going to be terrible, right? But I'm here to let you know that there's this box as well. Okay, look at that. A backpack? A backpack. Come on. Come on. Top left. A little bit of comps, you know, 371 crude. Can't go wrong with that, right? Come on. <clears throat> but then you have the final box on the right, which you would think, okay, yeah, resource box. You loot it, you see a bunch of bullshit, and you just want to cry, right? But deep down, you realize there's still a TC that we got to loot, so it's okay. Then we just go to pick that up, look inside TC, and then we're kind of satisfied. We feel okay about that. We feel okay. We got our C4 back with the 2K sulfur, Then we have 800 sulfur as well. It's like, we didn't profit back everything that we spent, but... Got a little bit of stuff back, right? Could have been worse, so I'm grateful. Plus, we have a tier 2 that we can sell inside of our shop. But if I'm being honest, I was expecting something better than this. I was. Season 1 comment, 20 likes, and Dylan goes high pop. People gotta realize, man, this is a medium pop server whenever I'm on. It's just, again, my area is a fucking ghost town. The area is what sucks more than anything. If I lived right next to Outpost, no one would, no one would be saying anything about, oh, go to high pop. All that I know is that oil rig is respawned, and... Someone could be there. Wait. Oh, someone is there! I hear the fucking Chinook! Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we gotta fucking go, guys. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go, go, go. Okay, we gotta go, go, go. You hear me? We gotta go, go, go. We need to get back home. We need to make grenades. And I'm just gonna go there with this Tommy set, I think. Because I just, I don't know. Like, I need to get there as soon as possible. Okay, and I'm hearing pythons and shoddy traps going off in there. What the fuck? Okay, we're inside. Thank God. Okay, we made it back home with all the raid loot. Cool. This is what the backpack looks like. Not the worst thing in the world. We also got some sulfur from a furnace uh, when we first had raided it. So, yeah, so pretty much I'm going to get right down here. GP, 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 GP. Boom, boom. Make five grenades. Okay. Oh, dude, I didn't even look on cams to see what's going on there. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we're going to oil rig not knowing what's going on. But you know what? Maybe that's just for the best. Uh, yeah, guys, look at this, okay? The parking spot is working. Okay, the parking spot's not working. Okay, it's working. Season one comment, uh, what do you think of Good Kid Mad City for that album, particularly the song Backseat Freestyle, pushed him above other rappers of his time. Any thoughts? Classic album, man, classic album. There's so many songs that I go back to and listen to that, like, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe, absolute classic. Like, when you just go back and listen to that and, like, watch the music video for it and shit, I feel like that's a song that's gonna, like, really stand the test of time. But one of my favorite songs on that, on that entire album is Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst. That's one of Kendrick's best tracks of all time. Fucking love that song.
Dude, the bots are just alive down here. But Dylan, you gotta go. If you actually wanna win this, then you have to go. There's no waiting or anything, like you just have to simply go. So like, do these bots shoot you? Like See and it's like, okay, so now I question myself. Huh. Do I just push up as fast as I possibly can and just say fuck everything? Like maybe that is the play. I'm hearing someone jump up there with like naked footsteps right now, that's all that I know. A grenade can actually kill both the bots like that, it's actually pretty fucking crazy. I'm hearing this dude jump constantly, I don't, I don't really know what he's doing, but I'm just gonna keep on trying to like make my stupid like little light jump here. Even though it very easily may just get me murdered. I'm hearing him jump like he's trying to jump on top of smokestacks, though. That's what it sounds like. Which, if he's trying to get on smokestacks, fuck, man, I can actually... I can actually... Okay, why can I not make this fucking jump? Okay. I'm just gonna go up the main way right here, I guess. I don't really know. I do want to say that this is Minicopter guy, though. Seeing him. This shit is weird, dude. I think that he is on smokestacks. Do I see him up there? I can't really tell. But I can tell you guys this. I'm just gonna fucking push up and just hope for the best. I mean, I'm not trying to play these silly fucking games. Ugh. I hate it when I do that shit because it happens every so often. Or I fuck up and I fall into the water. I should still be fine to just go up and do my thing, but. Yeah, I I tend to annoy myself quite a bit in this game. Okay, I'm back up here now. Holy fucking shit, dude. Trying to look for him up there, but I don't see him. I don't know if he actually is up there. I wanted to say that that's where he is based on like his footsteps that I heard, but I really don't know. That guy's dead. I saw him there. I knew that he was up there, man, based on his footsteps. Is it the same guy as before? Is it the same fucking dude that ran away before? I almost guarantee you that it is. I just... I'm not trying to get too greedy, because it could be two. I don't want to say that it is, though. I want to say that it's just one guy. Because it was one guy before. We know that. It was only one guy before. If it was two, then they would have not left. There's just no way. Yeah, man. He wasn't ready for me to come up right here. He was pretty much staring at the staircase over there, I want to say. So, I'm going to keep on kind of moving around now, I guess, but... I'm gonna chuck a grenade over there. By that crane. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking drop now. Okay, I'm jumping down. So there is still another one there. Okay, they're both just hiding like fucking crazy. Okay. <gasps> Server's restarting soon. Just now started taking off with his mini to like try and beat me. It sounded like. I could have just hit a barrel. No one get too excited. But there is always a chance that I did hit him with that nade, and that it did kill him. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just shocked that it's two guys that are playing this fucking passive, though. I really thought that it was just one. I should be dead right now. I should be dead. Let me just look real quick here. 61.8 to 0. I mean, I don't think that he should have been 61 HP, though, if I'm being honest. 61 seems like a really weird amount. But at the same time, what else would have been 61 HP? Yeah, it has to be him. But, like, at the same time, like, I don't want to fuck up right now. <laughs> so I'm, like, trying to be cautious because I don't want to die and then be like, oh, yeah, well, it was that, Dylan. It was something else. It was not him. I mean, the barrel's not destroyed that I thought would have been destroyed. 
seeing his leg over there. He's fucking dead, I think. He's dead. We got his ass, dude. Let's go. Even though deep down his teammate's probably on his way here right now, man. So we need to fucking pack up and dip. So wait, where's this guy's shit at? Or was... There's no way that this was him. I mean, this guy had an LR and an AK, I guess, to be fair. So, like, did he... Did he loot his boy? I mean, there's not two full metal sets, though. I don't understand where the other shit went, guys. This is really, really weird. There's just no dead body up here from the dude that I killed. Unless I downed him, but, like... I don't think that's what happened at all. I'm very certain that it was just the one guy. It was never two. So he just stood up, I guess. Okay, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, time to just try leaving. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes smooth. I don't know. Someone could be on here just ratting constantly. Alright, I'm out of here. And again, I wanna I wanna say this might be the same guy from Okay. <laughs> I try to like turn my character, but that's not how this shit works. Like, you can't turn your character anymore. You used to be able to hold down left click and like and, and like move your character and like move them in a circle. But now with backpacks, like, you can't do it. It just drags the shit out of the backpack. Alright, when we get inside of here, we depot as fast as possible, okay? And then pretty much, we take out this garage door, we get downstairs. Well, we start going downstairs, and then this, the moment that the server comes back up, we need to make a freaking base for that thing. Okay, we're just about in, though. Here we go, here we go. Boop, oh, we're in. Okay, cool. Uh-huh, here we go. Here we go. This whole garage thing, guys. Don't get me fucking started on it. I can't even get out of my fucking seat. Okay, and now it's all the way out. Okay, yeah, so you just have to push these things in, I guess. I guess that's, like, the whole thing with it. Yeah, it's safe, guys. It's safe. It's safe. Fuck, man. I wish that I could make a shop today. I guess that I could, but... Man, I don't know. It kind of... Actually, wait. So how much stone am I just sitting on up here? Okay, so we have that stone there. A little bit inside of there, too. A little bit... Eh, we don't have enough for a window floor right now, man. I think tomorrow we're going to go a little bit harder on our base. Get some electricity done. Uh, get the window floor done and all that jazz. So... Now, actually, I'm seeing a tweet right now. What meal would you prepare if you had to impress your significant other? Now, this depends, though. Does she like spicy food? Does she not like spicy food? I don't know. We would have to get to talking about food a little bit just to understand what all she likes, what she could be picky about, different shit like that. But, I mean, once I give her just one quesadilla, she's going to be mad in love with me, okay? I know how to make the best quesadillas known to man. Oh, here, here, here. Actually, let me test this out. You can put locks on these, right? You can't. You can't put them on the horizontal. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, so this this right here is going to be the loot room with, like, the worst shit. Because it's literally, like, you just have to go through a double armor door, drop down, loot, loot it. Like, that's it. Um, I thought that you could lock these. Can you lock the vertical ones? No, okay, I know. So you can't lock either one of them. Okay. Yeah, I should have just used normal boxes there now. <sighs> All right. Down the road, I might actually pick out two of the walls up there and then just replace it with normal boxes. But for now, I don't think I'm going to be using those boxes for anything. So. so I suppose, my beautiful friend, I will see you tomorrow. You have a beautiful day or night, whatever time it is for you, okay? I'm going to go and do the same. I actually need to play a little bit of Minecraft today, man. I've been really enjoying the playthrough that I've been going uh, through on there, which I don't upload it here on the main channel. It's like an exclusive series for the people that are like YouTube members and stuff. I want to provide something for those people. So sometimes I do like little series like that. And yeah, right now we're uh, we're doing a Minecraft series and yeah, it's been fun. So, but I'm going to go ahead and seal up this shit. If you made it here to the end of this video, comment the word wood. Okay. Comment the word wood. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Base is looking pretty good. Let me actually take out these metal frags because we need just a little bit more upkeep. Oh, wait, no, wait. No, I need stone. Oh. It's okay. Everything's fine. Boom. There we go. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one, though, my friend. Uh, yeah, bye-bye now. Deal.